Bella with lots and lots of hairstyles and you may have seen another one of our videos where we make an S lace braid but today we're going to make an X for extremely awesome even though extreme touch with an E just go with it so I'll give it a try thanks. So you have divided her hair into a crisscross shape and two, these two sides that are open will make one side of the X and the two in the clips will make the other side of the X. So take a little section from the front and we're going to lace braid but we want the braid directly at the bottom of where this is. So it's like a regular French braid, but notice on the bottom, I didn't pull, add any hair into it. So on the top behind, I'm going to grab all the hair from the part, clear down to the, where the bottom of it is, and add that into my top strand. But on the bottom, I just bring the strand over without any hair added. So I hold the third strand in my finger while I use my pinky as like a comb, and I go all the way down to part it and I add it to the section of the braid on top, but the bottom one you just cross over. So section it all the way off, clear down to the bottom, add that into the top strand, make sure you keep it nice and smooth, but notice on the bottom, no hair added at all. So add a section to the top like a regular French braid, but the bottom on a lace braid doesn't have hair added to it. So keep following this pattern and you want to be clear down to where your part line is, so that you can make this X shape on the back of your head. Keep adding hair to that top section as you follow the crisscross shape down your hair. So you need to be coming down a little bit of a diagonal and grabbing the last bits of hair left over before you're almost a crisscross into what was in the lower quadrant. So as you work your way over there and you're in the lower quadrant now, keep doing the same thing, but notice how my strands are getting progressively longer until I get to the bottom of the braid and I put it in an elastic and then I start with the other side I leave a little bit out to frame her face that I will curl or she can curl later and I take a little section up front and I start to do the very same thing and lace braid it back in the opposite diagonal of the other braid we just did. So again bring that bottom strand up without any hair added to it then I hold the top strand in my hand while I section off clear down to the bottom of that part line and add a strand, add a section to the top strand of my braid. And then just bring the bottom strand over without any hair added. Adding a section of hair to the top and just keep working this braid in a diagonal shape down across the back. Make sure you're cutting longer strands each time and then tug on that braid to make it really stand out from your hair. And here's my last section of hair from my top quadrant and I let out the clip and I reach over the braid that I did previously and I start crossing hair in from that one and it's as simple as that to go over the other braid. So you just reach around that other braid and grab your longer sections and remember you want to go all the way down to the neckline. In the upper quadrant we just went down to the part line but now we're going down to the neckline taking longer strands Notice how they get progressively longer as you go down. So most of the length of your hair is just dangling and the bottom of it is braided up. And if your hair is shorter, it still works. You just do the same technique. 